We are now going to show you how to prepare your Fabius in the morning and before each case. The first thing to be done in the morning is the daily checkout procedure to ensure that your Fabius is up and running. In your instructions for use, you will find a detailed description of each and every step we are going to go through. First, connect all gas supply hoses and the power supply cable. In this case, we will only use oxygen for gas supply. To check that all medical gas connections are connected properly and securely fitted, verify that the pipeline pressure is within an acceptable range. To check the filling levels of any gas cylinders you might have, simply open the cylinder and check the pressure. On a device fitted with pin index connectors, you can read out the cylinder pressure gauges above the flow meters. Open and close every gas flow control valve to ensure that gas is flowing. You may also want to check the correct functionality of your O2 flush. Let's have a look at the manual breathing bag to test if it's properly connected and works. Switch on your Fabius and wait for the system diagnostics to be carried out automatically. Next, we perform the necessary calibrations and tests. Calibrating the Fabius sensors is really easy. To calibrate the flow sensor, press the Calibrate Flow Sensor key and follow the instructions given on the screen. Close all fresh gas control valves. Remove the expiratory hose from the breathing system and start flow sensor calibration by pressing the rotary knob. After the calibration is finished, reinstall the expiratory hose onto the breathing system. Additionally, make sure to calibrate your O2 sensor every morning. To do so, simply select Calibrate O2 Sensor. Remove the O2 sensor from the housing for two minutes and press the rotary knob to confirm. After the test, reinsert the oxygen sensor onto the breathing system. Now that we have calibrated both sensors, we are going to perform the leakage and compliance test. Therefore, press the respective key and follow the instructions on the screen. Close all fresh gas control valves. Place the Y piece on the plug located on the bag mount and seal the sample line connector if applicable. Switch the APL valve to manual and set a pressure between 40 to 50 hectopascal. Then press the oxygen flush button to build up a pressure between 50 to 30 hectopascal. When the test is completed, the results are shown on the screen. Press the rotary knob to return to the standby screen. On the standby screen, you can see the result of the last system test, as well as the last leakage and compliance test.